Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I know I haven't uploaded anything in about six months and I'm really sorry for that. But today's video is about boosting your Windows performance overall by up to 70% and this will help you increase your FPS and gameplay in regardless it's a battle royale or Minecraft or any kind of sandbox game. You can increase your performance by at least 30 to 40%. So without making this long, let's get into the video. Okay, so as we are on our screen now, we are going to open our browser and then we are going to type here Ravi OS. The first link you find, you're going to open that. You scroll down here and you click on download Ravi OS and then you open this link in new tab and this in new tab as well. You, you're going to download this file. Mine is already downloaded so I'm gonna cancel this and in the other link you're gonna scroll down here you're gonna click on this link you're gonna open it you'll have to generate link from here you click on link generated and then you download the file I also have it downloaded already so once you have these files downloaded right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your AME wizard beta file you're going to extract it to desktop. Mine is already there. I'm going to just replace it. It will be something like this. You're going to open it. This may take some time to turn on. But what you're going to do is you're going to keep take this file that you downloaded. You're going to drag it here. Okay. So you're going to have something like this once you drag and drop it here. Okay. So first of all, you're going to search Windows Security. Then you're going to open this app. Here you will find wires and threat protection. You're going to open it and then you're going to go to manage settings and then you will turn off all the protections here. And after that, you can run this. Okay. See, this meets my system requirement so I can run it. Now I'm going to do next, next, and I'm going to agree with this and I'm going to select features. I don't need any browser since I have Chrome. I'm using my Chrome so I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go with none. I'm going to remove Edge and Copilot and OneDrive. You can unselect it if you use any of these. I'm not going to remove Windows Backup just for security purposes. And I'm going to apply Revision Wallpaper, Enable Dark Mode and Legacy Context Menu. I'm going to click with OK. Configuration will be applied. Next. Now this is going to start applying the configuration. So this process might seem a bit tedious and after a while it may look something like this. Okay, so when this happens, what you're going to do is you're going to alt Control delete you're going to go to your task manager and you're going to go to files, run new task. You're going to write explorer. All your stuff will come back on the screen. So now you can see that it's doing its stuff. So you're going to wait until it completes and if it gets stuck or something, if it gets stuck in between somewhere, what you're going to do is you're going to go to details. You will have to find PowerShell. PowerShell, at the moment PowerShell isn't running because it's working fine. If, if it still gets stuck and you can't find PowerShell, then you have to end toss this process. I'm going to end process this. The moment I end process this, this is going to start working. And as you can see, it processes. And if it gets stuck again, you might want to look out for PowerShell. It might be running in the background and you have to and task it so the process doesn't get interrupted okay so at this point it might get stuck here round about here somewhere so you can see powershell is running in the behind you're gonna end task it the moment you end task it it's gonna start working again if it doesn't you you'll see the powershell is running again and you will have to end process and this should start working again if it doesn't i'll have to end task this again end process and this should start working. Yep, this is working again. It's removing temporary files now. And about any moment it should be at the end. If you see Power PowerShell pop up again, you're gonna end task it every single time. You see PowerShell pops up every now and then. And you keep on end processing it until the process gets completed. And now your PC will restart, okay? 
so after it's done loading you're not gonna stop it you're gonna let it complete its 10 seconds and restart itself and once you restart it you're gonna notice a huge difference in your performance even from the booting sequence you'll see that your boot time has significantly dropped okay so once we are done with the process of applying the playbook we will have this revision tool we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna open it now here we have our tool for changing our basic settings we can even enable the windows defender from here if you if you are concerned about security and uh, malware you can turn this on but this will cost you a lot of performance and also uh, we can change a lot of stuff in here as you can see we can enable linking and typing personalization we can disable caps lock key but uh, what we want to do is it's going to enable this super fetch option and why that for those people who are using hdd uh, instead of SSD and we're gonna disable the background apps we're also gonna enable full screen optimization so when we're running a game or an app in full screen it will be more optimized and may not lag this is it guys for this video today's like goal is relax I hope we can do it this is Nils5 signing off goodbye